Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome to my seventh video of what am I drinking. Today I've got a slightly different wine. Today I went for a Nero Davola by the famous producers Planeta. So this is called Plumbago. It's a single vineyard, Nero Davola, meaning that they produced it from one single vineyard in Sicily, not from a, a variety of, of vineyards. And it's made from a single variety, meaning it's made from just 100% Nero Davola grape. Nero Davola grape means black grape from Avola, which is a, a, a place in uh, Sicily. I think most people know that Nero Davola is one of the most important grapes in Sicily. However, not everybody knows that it's actually a grape that is not particularly fond of Etna. Now, Mount Etna is an area where very good wine is produced, but Nero Davola is not particularly fond of the climate on Mount Etna, so it prefers lower altitudes. Um, Planeta, as a, as a producer, or one of the top producers in Sicily, I was lucky enough to, to have visited their vineyards last year. I met some really wonderful people, including Alessio Planeta, who is uh, one of the owners of the place. And I think their character and their, their, their joyfulness comes out in the wine. At least that's, that's how I feel. The warmth of, of, of their character comes out in the wine as well. Planeta, as a, as, a, as a company, started pretty way back, I think somewhere around the 1900s. And what's interesting to know is Giacomo Takis, who is one of the founders of Super Tuscans, I mean, Tignanello, Solaya, Sassicaia, Antinori, I think he was an analogist with Antinori as well, was one of the main advisors for Planeta back when they started their production as, a, as, a, as an experiment back in the 1900s, early 1900s, I would say. So, this particular Nero Davola is not the top of the range, so it's, uh, I would say, entry to medium level range, not a particularly expensive wine. Nero Davola itself, in my opinion, is an easy drinking wine, usually. Good fun with burgers and sausages and, and uh, barbecues, roast meats. Similar a little bit to maybe New World Shiraz, it's got that spiciness, that full bodied, um, full bodied texture to it. So, on the nose, immediately you get a lot of fruit. It is a 2017, so it's very young. I've left this in the glass for quite a bit, for around 15 minutes, hoping it aerates a bit. And yet you still get a lot of fruit. Extremely juicy, dusty, a little bit dusty as well. I would say dusty, dusty cherry, plum, definitely plum, blackberry. A lot of juice. I would say a little bit of smoke as well, and I know that they do age this particular Nero Davola in a little bit of oak for around 10 months. Yeah. Lovely. Exactly like on the nose. So you get that incredible juiciness. Just a bit like, like squashed berries, uh, when you burst berries in your mouth, that, that beautiful um, round juiciness, the, the high acidity, the, the fruitiness of it, that's really nice. The colour itself shows that it's young, it's a very purple colour. It's like they've just burst the berries and bottled it. So it's a very supple wine. I get this warm feeling when I drink it, a bit... Uh, a bit of this warm fuzzy feeling when you have this comfort food so I'd call it maybe a comfort wine really really enjoyable really nice the secondary flavors are already starting to come out a little bit now there's something savory about it um, that keeps you wanting to go back for more. A bit of chewing tobacco, so it's got a little bit of spice, slightly floral, some jasmine maybe, a little bit. The tannins are there, but very well integrated tannins. The acidity is medium acidity, it's not too high, 
but it's nice, it's there, it keeps it fresh, as I said, it's just like the best berries. That's lovely. And um, to be honest, for the price I bought it at, it's, it really is a steal. I can imagine having it with, with burgers, a nice juicy burger, that would be amazing. I think I'll, change, I'll have to change what we're having for dinner tonight. This is really, really nice. It's also a little bit creamy, velvety. You've got that silkiness to it. Um, that probably comes from the MLF, so the malolactic fermentation. So first they, they actually ferment Nerodavula in, in stainless steel vats. And they, they, they perform MLF, which is this malolactic fermentation, where they convert malic acid into lactic acid. And what happens over there is they make the wine slightly creamier, slightly softer, and it's, it's an extremely soft, enjoyable wine. I think it's a wine that can be enjoyed now. I would easily age it another four or five years. Um, so it's got enough freshness, and I think it's, it's got enough um, power and acidity to keep it for the long term. I think it's actually a fantastic wine. So congratulations to I know they they I've met their Hungarian winemaker Patricia Tot, and well done to her because I think it's it's a fantastic job. Cheers.